Hi, for this video I want to talk about adding additional ports to the Sentinel console or to your Sentinel box so that you can uh, be, uh, maybe you need more ports for because uh, the ports in use are your security policy doesn't allow those ports or or you just need you just want to separate uh, particular customers that you uh, that you support and you don't want them using the same port or whatever reason you have for adding additional ports um, I'm going to walk walk you through how to do that so uh, currently I'm in Sentinel web interface and we're going to go to the control center get there we go to admin applications and click on control center I already have it open so I'm just going to minimize this and I'm going to Go to my first. I'm going to go to, to this interface from because this this will be the first interface that opens when you're going to controls when you click on Control Center from the web interface. From here, you'll say Event Source Management Live View. I've already done that, so let me minimize this and click on my other cube icon down here and go to Event Source Management. So this this is the area where you manage your event sources, your collectors, your connectors, everything that you're monitoring in your environment. And if I want to, right now I just want to look at the event source servers. So I'm going to go over here to this filter and just click on event source servers. Um, it just it it still shows some collectors, but and these are the collectors, the uh, the nine little cubes or, or squares uh, is a collector. And, you, and it's got the name next to it, what type of collector it is. But we're not worried about those. We're worried about the event source servers, which are what opens the port for you. So if I go into this one and click edit. I can see it's an SSL protocol being used and it's a port 1443. Go into this one, edit it, that's port, that's port 1468 TCP protocol. Uh, close that, go into this one, it's another SSL, well at least that's by the name here SSL. This you could type this name in wrong and doesn't it, it could be something different in here so it's good to confirm by by looking in here so let me see here get to the spot I need to be in just a second. Okay, so SSL port 1590, and if you recall, the this SSL was port 1443. So we can we can never have uh, the only way we could have the same port number is if the protocols were different. So uh, I'm I'm going to go ahead and open up a putty session so I can uh, show you something in putty okay I just want to confirm with a net stat uh, on some of the ports that um that the ports are actually listening, some of the ones that I referred to. Okay, we're going to go make sure we're on the same IP address. Up 
Okay, so now if I, let me pull this over here, and let's just uh, pick one. Let's say, uh, let's look at this port right here. It's, port, it's uh, port 1468. So what I want to do with Putty to confirm the port is listening is do a netstat dash an pipe rep 1468. Hit enter and as you can see port 1468 is listening. So now if you need to if you if if you have some connectors let me go ahead and change the filtering filtering on this. Uh, let's see go back down to event sources so it shows everything and expand expand some of these collectors. So under each collector is a connector. The collector is, as I stated earlier, the the icon with the nine little squares, and the collector is what does all the parsing of the data. So it's what normalizes your data as it comes into Sentinel. The connector is what the event sources use to connect to Sentinel. If it's the uh, and the, each connector uh, is assigned a particular port in so for instance uh let me let me go to this identity manager connector let me right click it and go to edit and click on event source server and it says on server there so you want to click on that and you'll notice let me go let me just go back one you'll notice the icon that's that's the event source server it's the icon with four little arrows pointing to a circle as in here where we were the ones we were looking at previously so if you edit that you get the same view of when we were going straight into the event source server and because that's the one that shows up when we edit the connector that's what the connector is assigned to another way you can tell which event source server slash port uh, that connector is assigned to. You can go into graphical mode and you can see audit connector. You see the faint line going up to this audit connector. So it's, if you don't have a lot of uh, event sources and connectors, collectors and all, it's, it's fairly easy to see in here. But, uh, I prefer, I prefer table mode. Things are just kind of easier to read that way. So, getting back to the original uh, reason for the video, I want to add a new event source server, which means a new port is going to open. So, you're going to go to your icon, and right here I just have one Sentinel server icon. If I had an additional collector managers, there'd be some more icons like this further down. So, you're going to right click that icon and click add event source server so now you have a list of the types of event source servers you can add i'm just going to say syslog click next now i get to choose which one now there's some default ports in here but uh, if you use one of the default ports there's always a good chance that you're going to pick one that's already in use so i'm going to stick with tcp but I'm going to change this to 1555. I know that's not a default port. I know it's not, it's not something we're currently using. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Click next. 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 And usually just choose the defaults for everything. Click run. Finish. Okay, so here's my. Here's my new syslog server, uh, event source server. You see you have configured status and actual status is on. We'll go in that and take a quick look. Click edit, and you can see 1555. So 
just to confirm that that uh, port is actually listening, we'll go back into our putty session and we'll say 1555. And there you have it. It's 1555 is listening. So now if you add if you if you add a connector and you wanted to use this port, you would uh, let me just for example, let me add a connector under under this collector. So add connector and we'll make a syslog connector because that's what the syslog server is. And now you have a you have an option of which one to use. Now it, what I should have done is probably named it differently. Maybe put the, the port in the name and I can always go and change that. In fact, let me do that just to just to make it uh, easier to understand. So let me edit this and go to the general tab and where the name is, let me just add 1555. And okay. Okay, let me refresh. So now you see it right here. So back to our adding a connector. So add connector. It's going to be a syslog connector. I want that connector to use this port. And in which which means when you set up your event sources to point to Sentinel. You're going to use the Sentinel IP address in this port. So hit next, run, finish. Now I have a, an additional syslog connector under, under here. And if I go into this syslog connector and I and I click edit and I click event source server, it it gives a list of event source servers. I, I should have mentioned that earlier, and so you're going to get a list. But in this case, uh, we know it. We know the connector is assigned to this one, so it's going to be the one that's highlighted when you open it. Uh, when you do edit the connector and you go to event source server, whichever one is already assigned to it, that's what's going to be highlighted. So we know that we assign this to it, so we're good there. So. Uh, the only, the only other thing I could mention when you add a new port like that, if you have a firewall running, you should add the uh, the Sentinel far, the SUSE firewall, Red Hat firewall, whatever's running on your box. If you have it enabled, and you're only allowing certain ports through, you should make sure whatever ports you add added is also added to the firewall rules. And that's all I have. Thank you for listening. Thank you.